Hello everyone, myself Mrugendra Bhujraj Poddar, working as an assistant professor, Department of Pharmaceutics at Sri Bille Parle Keloni Mandar, Institute of Pharmacy Dhule, affiliated under Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Technological University, Lonere, District Raigad. In this video, I am going to discuss about one of the part of Biopharmaceutics and Pharmacokinetics that is one compartment open model for intravenous bolus. Disclaimer This presentation is made for educational purpose only and not meant for any commercial interest. The information provided in this presentation by presenter is taken from his own personal experience and understanding and from the references quoted at the end of presentation. Learning Objectives After completion of this video, the student should able to learn about the different pharmacokinetic models like compartment model, non-compartment model, mammillary, caternary models. The descriptions involved in one compartment open model for IV bolus. The equations and derivations which is used to estimate the different pharmacokinetic parameters in IV bolus and graphical representation of different parameters to show the different rate and order of reaction. Let us start with introduction of model. Model is nothing but the representation of things in better way. It is a hypothetical things. We just take one example related to cloth shop. If the cloths are wear to different models then we assume, we think that, how can I see if I wear it? If the cloths are arranged in a shelf, then it is not easy to understand. But same cloths wear to any dummy model, then we easily understand about the pattern of cloth, about the type of cloth and so on. So, the model is representation in better way. Pharmacokinetic model in that, we assume the different parameters related to ADME. It may define as, it gives the clear way to explain theoretically or mathematically the movement of drug, the journey of drug throughout the body and compute all the pharmacokinetic parameters like ADME. This pharmacokinetic model is utilized for the easy to describe, analyze, and interpret the data in kinetics. This model also utilized for determination of drug behavior starting from the administration of drug up to the excretion of drug. There are different types of models like dependent, non-dependent, compartment model, non-compartment model. Compartment model having a different types like mammillary and caternary. It may differ as per the arrangement of different compartments. Mammillary models are arranged a different compartment in parallel way, while caternary models are nothing but we arrange a compartment in a series like a train. Pharmacokinetics one compartment open model for IV bolus is also called as intravenous slug. See the picture. We administered the drug by intravenous route directly into the systemic circulation and the whole drug is distributed inside the body within 1 to 3 minutes only. As name indicates as one compartment, so body is act as a single compartment here and the drug is distributed from the sing uh, central compartment that is blood. Consider we administered the 500 mg drug inside the one single compartment that is blood by IV route with the help of syringe and needles. At that time the whole 100% concentration drug may pre uh, present inside the blood. After one hour if we observe the concentration of drug will be decreases because as name indicates as it is an open model. So as absorptions will take place, the elimination of drug will also take place side by side. Again, as the time increases, the concentration of drug will decreases. 
after 3 hours again the concentration of drug decreases and after 4 hours again the concentration of drug inside the body will decreases because at that uh, after absorption the elimination is going on if we observe this diagram initially the concentration is maximum that is 500 mg after one hour the concentration will decreases after two hours again the concentration will decreases 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 and after four hours there is a complete excretion of drug from the body so iv bolus indicates as it may shows first order kinetics first order kinetics will represent at which is depends on the concentration of drug as concentration of drug increases the rate of reaction the order of reaction will also increases but here in that case initially at zero hours the concentration of drug will be increases and as the time will increases the concentration of drug will be decreases so it may shows first order kinetics one compartment open model for intravenous bolus is also called as intravenous slug see the model of one compartment open model see there is a this bracket will indicates as a single compartment in that case the body is act as a single compartment where uh, we consider blood or other body tissues is consider as a first compartment or single compartment from which the distribution of drug or metabolism of drug or excretion of drug will takes place this arrow will indicates as it is a open model if there is a absence of arrow then it will shows ki it is closed model but if this arrow indicates as ki it is a open model ready to distribute the drug ready to metabolize the drug ready to excrete the drug from the body ke indicates as the rate of elimination as we know there are different types of compartment model like mammillary or catenary both are distinguish as per their arrangement of the compartments if the compartments are arranged in a series like a train one by one then it is called as catenary model if the compartments are arranged in a parallel way then it is called as mammillary models one compartment and two compartment we can't distinguish whether it is mammillary or catenary but if it is more than two three or more than three then we identify whether it is mammillary or catenary in that case the one compartment so body is considered as a single compartment blood is act as a single compartment here in which in iv bolus we introduce the drug directly into the systemic circulation so there is no movement of drug from the site of administration to systemic circulation so that's why there is no absorption here the absorption is totally negligible there is no absorption will takes place in case of iv bolus because we directly administer to the systemic circulation and this open will indicates as the drug is ready to move for next step either up to the elimination so ke will indicates as the rate of elimination and elimination is always follows first order kinetics while remaining absorptions may follow zero order or first order depends on the type of dosage form for example iv infusion is there so we administered the drug in uh, in same manner in constant in constant way so it is considered as a zero order kinetics or sustained release or control release dosage form may show zero order kinetics but other than that like a conventional dosage form or iv injection is there it may follows first order kinetics now let us see the equations and derivations required for pharmacokinetics one compartment open model for iv bolus injection see the models there is a single compartment that is blood is act as a single compartment from which this arrow will indicates as again the eliminations will takes place so that's why it is open model central compartment is act as a blood and this arrow ke will represent as the rate of elimination which will shows the model is open one 
in iv bolus there is a one equation basic equation is there dx upon dt is equal to rate in minus rate out rate in indicates as the rate of absorption minus rate out it means rate of elimination where the dx upon dt is equal to the rate of reaction so in iv bolus there is a absence of absorptions because the drug is directly enter into the systemic circulation so there is no absorption there is no rate in so that's why the equation is dx upon dt is equal to minus kex equation number 2 where x will indicates as the amount of drug present in body ke indicates as the elimination rate constant where minus sign indicates as the drug is loss from the body in iv bolus there are three pharmacokinetic parameters we need to determine it first is elimination rate constant second is elimination half life and third one is clearance these pharmacokinetic parameters are only depends on the elimination because there is no absorption so there is no absorption parameter only parameters are related with elimination we discuss first parameters that is elimination rate constants we already discuss the basic equation that is dx upon dt is equal to minus kex now second step we need to go for integration so both variables are same in case of integration we need to do the both variables are same side so that's why we just convert the x from here to here and uh, the equation is likewise dx upon x is equal to minus ke into dt equation number 3 now we integrate the equation number 3 integrate dx upon x is equal to x0 minus ke integration of dt where x0 will indicates as initial concentration of drug that is constant one if we take initial concentration 500 mg then it is uh, this 500 mg will constant for every time so during the integration there is one term will arrive called as x0 next step is we just convert this integrate into log form so log x is equal to x0 minus ket as we know integration of dt is nothing but t only and integration of dx upon x is equal to log x only this is the basic equation so from this equation 4 we will get the equation number 5 just uh, remove the integration that's it now after the equation for you we just change into the exponential form of equation number for you exponential is nothing but just convert in the form of power form that's it exponential is nothing but uh, power form conversion after the exponential form to the equation number for you we'll get the equation number 6 that is x is equal to x0 e to the power of minus ket small e will represent as log base while capital e will represent as elimination rate now multiply both side by log to the base 10 log x is equal to log x0 minus ket upon log 10 that is equation number 7 now put the value of log 10 that is uh, 2.3 not 3 into the equation number 7 you will get equation number 8 so the equation is log x is equal to log x0 minus ket upon 2.3 not 3 where the x0 will represent as initial concentration of drug t is nothing but the time and x is nothing but the amount of drug present in body convert the equation number 8 in the form of concentration just x is replaced by c to convert into the concentration form you will get the equation number 9 that is log c is equal to log c minus ket upon 
2.303. This equation number 9 is a final equation to determine the elimination rate constant which is first pharmacokinetic parameter. Now the second parameter is elimination half-life which is indicated by T half. There is one equation only to determine the elimination half-life that is T half is equal to 0 0.693 upon Ke where K is nothing but the elimination rate constant. The elimination half-life is defined as the period of time required for concentration of particular substance or a drug to decrease to half of its initial dose in the body. We just need to write the definition and single equation that's it. Now the third parameters that is clearance. We already discussed about the clearance during the renal clearance, non-renal clearance and so on. So there is one formula for clearance. Clearance is equal to the rate of elimination upon percent drug concentration that is nothing but the concentration of drug present in blood. So in basic equation we know that the elimination rate of elimination is equal to dx upon dt. We just put this value in equation number 1. You will get the equation number 2 that is Cl is equal to dx upon dt upon C. dx upon dt is nothing but the rate of elimination. Again from the basic equation we know that the dx upon dt is equal to minus ket for bolus 1. So again put the same value dx upon dt is equal to minus kex in equation number 2 you will get the equation number 3 that is clearance is equal to minus kex upon c that is nothing but the equation number 3 also we know that the volume of distribution is equal to x upon c or x upon c is equal to volume of distribution so we just replace the value of x uh, x upon c is equal to vd from equation number 3. By putting this value in equation number 3, you will get the final equation that is clearance is equal to minus ke vd. That's it. That is the final equation for to determine the clearance which is third parameter of pharmacokinetic parameter utilized for IV bolus. Now graphs for pharmacokinetics one compartment open model for IV bolus. As we discussed the introduction of drug by IV route into the human body directly into the systemic circulation it may follow the first order kinetics. So this is nothing but the regular plot follows one compartment kinetics and given by rapid IV injection. So initial concentration of a drug is high. And as time increases, the concentration of drug will be decreases. Practically, you will observe some curve. So this curve, it is difficult to determine the slope. That's why we, uh, we apply for the log and this curve will convert in the form of straight line. Then you will get the semi logarithm plot for the rate of elimination is one compartment model. So curve is convert in the form of straight line by applying logarithm. Thank you. Thank you so much.